Thank you very much. Next is a poem by Rupa Ramuti. Once again, hello friends. Um, I have a question again. What do we see on Indian roads besides traffic and pedestrians? What do we see on Indian roads besides traffic and pedestrians? Any answers? Cows. 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 Yeah, yeah, you said it because they are so much in the face, in the, uh, you know, in our eye. Okay. Um, you're right. Having lived in Ahmedabad, Gujarat for long, I have minutely observed the city in all its aspects. My poem, Functioning Chaos, is about a city caught at the crossroads between the old and the new, the rural and the urban. It is written in free verse, that is, it has no meter or rhyming scheme. Sit back and enjoy the humor. Functioning chaos. Functioning chaos? What's that? They wrinkle their noses and scratch their heads. Oxymoron, shouted a 10th grader triumphantly. It means chaos or confusion that actually works. Take the roads of Abdo Ahmedabad, for instance. With its happy mix of glimpses from the stone age to the information age, roaming the city with their flocks are the cattle-rearing communities of Rabaris and Maldharis. The robust, handsome men clad in white kedus and turbans and stately women flaunting black, flowing, intricately embroidered ghagras, long, thick, stick in hand, bold as brass, they rule the roads. In this city bordering the desert, herds of ghutkars, the wild asses of Kutch, loaded with sand and stone and large snail paced bullock and camel carts amble their way eating up ample road space but far more dangerous than these is the ubiquitous guy or cow of the deer variety these large horned bulky bovines are a nightmare for our cool urban dudes from which they have had many a narrow escape. Therefore, contrary to these promotional ads by automobile companies, it's no cakewalk, no smooth ride for our heroes on Hondas. There are other contenders for the rationed space on the lean, mean city streets. The celebrated authors Lapierre and Collins re-Christianed the eastern city of Calcutta, now Kolkata, city of joy. Not to be left behind, not trailing behind is the western city of Ahmedabad, which has earned the sobriquet city of Gai. Thank you. Thank you. The last item for the literary festival is by Mr. Siva Kumar. Nalla kada alapar kiladi. By the way, we will end this year's cultural programs with a dance by Rupa Ramuthi. 